Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Stephanie. For those of you who do not know me, I go by Red Lip Steph. Anyway, today I wanted to create a video where I share some tips when becoming a legal assistant or a paralegal. In this video, they mean the same thing. And the reason why I wanted to create this video was because I was going on Reddit and there's like so many people like starting their internships and um, or they're starting like a part-time job as a legal assistant or they're actually doing full-time job and they just do not know like what skills you need um, or how to prepare yourself to be a good legal assistant. When you become a legal assistant, my first tip is to make sure you know how to communicate. I know a lot of you are going to be like, well, duh, of course, like everyone communicates in their job. Like, how could you not communicate? Uh, th 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 no. Okay. So by communicate, I mean, how could I put this? Never assume anything, especially, especially in the legal field. Like when it comes to documents, when it comes to attorneys assigning you something that you think you might know, but it turns out like you missed something. Whenever you are unsure of something, just make sure to ask a question. It doesn't matter if you think the question will make you look bad, will make you look dumb, or if you think it's a dumb question. Odds are it isn't. Maybe it might be, but you just want to be assured that what you're doing is correct and you're not assuming something. So, for example, um, when you become a legal assistant, obviously the communication, you're going to be communicating with attorneys for the most part it doesn't matter the size you're always going to be communicating with um, attorneys or other paralegals or supervisors whatever it may be and you're always going to get assignments via email for the most part um, sometimes they may call you into the office and tell you what to do when someone okay that's another thing when you are called in to the office by an attorney or supervisor always make sure to take your notepad and pen because odds are that they're going to be assigning you something or telling you something very important and you could be like oh yeah like i'll remember that but when you go back to your desk you're like shoot did i miss a detail like just carry a notepad and a pen wherever you go <laughs> like if they call you in for something just take your notepad like even if you don't end up writing something at least you know that you were prepared and if they do end up saying something very important you have a notebook and your pen and you just write it out really quickly just take jot down quick notes so when you are assigned a task the attorney will most likely give you instructions in an email or the paralegal whatever whoever it is and then sometimes like you're gonna have to try to figure out like what exactly they want and need and oh my gosh always ask for the deadline like some attorneys they'll be like oh yeah can you work on this but some assignments are kind of time consuming and they may take up like a couple of days some assignments are asap like they want this as soon as possible so always ask for the deadline whenever you get an assignment but when you first get it like definitely decipher the instructions um what exactly do they want when do they want to buy um is there something that i don't understand if for any reason like you didn't you you just can't figure this out like make sure to call the attorney or reach out be like hey i just is this what you mean like you, you could always reiterate like your interpretation of what they want and then you could just say like oh is this correct is this exactly what you want and then they'll either reply with yes this is exactly what i want or no um this is what i mean but never assume anything and i feel like i made that mistake when i first started started off as a legal assistant i just i didn't want to look dumb so i would just you know kind of analyze okay what is it what they want um and then i'll be like oh my gosh like i think this is what they want and then when i would do the assignment and i have them review it they're like yeah this is not you need to fix this <laughs> so i mean don't feel bad i feel like it happens to a lot of us but it it happens so now I'm just I don't care how annoying or how dumb my questions are like I reach out for help like if I don't understand something I just literally ask even if it's like a dumb question or I think it's a dumb question I just ask and that's like what I mean by communication just make sure that you're following up with them um, asking them a lot of questions like yes they might be busy but you need to get this done and you don't want to do it incorrectly because then your job is in jeopardy like you may be fired or get a warning and nobody wants that so we're just trying to avoid that so when an attorney like i mentioned before gives you an assignment and it's not a priority and it takes a couple of days to complete you may um 
like let's say you complete that document and then you send it to the attorney for review you might need their signature or you just want them to review it you need to make sure to follow up with that document um it's very important i've done this before and I'm telling you guys so you guys don't make the same mistake that I did and I've gotten in trouble for it and it's the most stressful thing so I remember one time I like I was asked by the partner to do something this was like at a different firm and I remember this partner he assigned me this assignment and um, I had to call the court and report back to him to give him some information and I couldn't figure it out, but I had other assignments to complete. So I was like, okay, this is not a priority right now. So I'm gonna just leave it on the side and work on the other things that I need to work on. And then a couple of days pass by and then the partner finally, I guess, remembers about the assignment. And then that partner reaches out to me and it's like, hey, like, why didn't you follow up with this task? Or why didn't you remind me? Like, did you get any information? And then I had completely forgotten about that task. And I had to go back and let him know that, you know, I'm so sorry. I was caught up in other stuff. It's completely my fault. It was, just, it was bad. I was scrambling. It was a struggle. Um, I'm not going to lie. Like, I have I was definitely not perfect. And, of course, I feel like I'm a lot better now. But, like, in the beginning, it was just, you know, like, you're trying to figure out your role. Like, what exactly you need to do. And... You know, you learn from it the hard way sometimes, but you learn from it. That's why I'm telling you guys, just communicate, follow up with tasks, don't be scared. Um, make sure, I guess that's, that brings me to my next point. Next major tip that I have is to have organization. So I am definitely not a very organized type A person um, in my personal life. Uh, you know, I'm... I could be messy, but, you know, I clean up when I can and all that. Um, but in my work life, I've learned to be type A, just organize, keep in a calendar, keep a task list of everything that I need to do. Because in this field, like, you have deadlines. Like, you miss a deadline, that's it. You're done. You're done. Um, you might piss off a partner and there goes your job. I'm, like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm serious. You probably get a warning. I, don't, I mean, I don't know, but... I guess it depends on your firm, but definitely just have a system of like being organized. So when you're a legal system, you will most likely be assigned to various cases. It doesn't matter what size law firm you're in, you're going to be assigned to a couple of cases. And the way I do it is in my desktop, I have like folders of each case. And whenever an attorney assigns me, something in regards to that case i make sure to save the instructions in each um folder and every template oh my gosh another big tip um make sure to save templates so in the legal field you are basically plagiarizing a bunch of documents i mean i know school teaches you otherwise but in the legal field like that's all you're doing you're taking one template of a document and then you're copying that template and just tweaking the um, the verbiage, the names or the caption and everything else. So just make sure to save templates so the next time another attorney from a different case reaches out to you and they want you to do something similar, you have a template to reference. That's another one. That's like a major one. But yes, definitely keep yourself organized in your job. In especially as a legal assistant. You're going to be assigned to so many things. You're going to have a bunch of tasks. You're going to have deadlines and you're going to be stressed out. And if you forget for some reason, like you're most likely going to get into trouble. So what I do, I keep a list of all the tasks that I have. And then obviously like if an attorney does not give you a deadline, ask for deadlines. And then that's how I um, organize them based on priority. It's like, okay, is this a priority right now? No? Okay. So I'll like kind of move my tasks around with the deadlines and like kind of um, rank them from priority to not priority. But yeah, just make sure you have like your own organized system. I think as you grow into your role, like you'll get the hang of it and you'll start to see like what works for you in terms of organization. Um, maybe have like a calendar definitely have a planner with everything um, Yeah, and especially if your task is to calendar different deadlines 
I mean, thank goodness. You know, I'm not even going to jinx it. I'm not even going to say it. But if you have to calendar, you definitely need to be on top of your, your stuff. Just, yeah. My third tip. Sometimes the attorneys will ask you to review a document, but always just make sure you don't have any errors, um, that the attorney didn't make any errors, that their signatures, that the dates are correct, that the document has the right names. Because like I said before, um, in the legal field, you, like, you're always plagiarizing documents. So sometimes like you might use another template and then you forget to change the caption or the case name or the case number. And it's just, it, yeah, it's bad if you submit a document with wrong information on it. The fourth tip. I don't know if this is a fourth tip. I think it's more like an FYI to all those who are going to become legal assistants. So flexibility. Um, I think this is also important for an interview because this is something that happens frequently, not too often, but very frequently where you're going to have to be flexible with your hours. Um, I know, like, for example, in big law, if an attorney wants that assignment due by that day, and let's, okay, like, for example, let's say you clock out at 5 p.m. and they assign you something at 3 p.m., but you know it's going to take, like, five hours, you're most likely going to have to do those five hours, um, work overtime, I mean, it depends on, like, I don't know how overtime works for each law firm, but in big law, like, sometimes for us, like, we need to reach out to our supervisor and ask for permission, but sometimes, like, like, I, like, it's bad, but sometimes I don't ask, I just do it, <laughs> because the attorneys are, like, like, when they send you the email, they're like, oh, we need this ASAP, can you please work on this, and and obviously, I'm not going to say no, so I'm like, oh, yeah, like, I, I could definitely work on this, and then I just do it, and then time flies, and you just need to be flexible with your hours. I guess that's all I'm saying. You're most likely going to work overtime, and you're not even going to know it. There's some cases or some projects where attorneys will let you know, like, hey, I'm probably going to need you to stay overtime on this date, and good for them, but I, I've never had that experience. Everything has been out of the blue, and it's crazy. And I guess, like, another FYI, like, in big law, I guess, like, a lot of people don't like it because of the hours, but I'm telling you, it's not the hours that, you know, kill it for people. It's probably the anxiety and stress that goes with it. Um, whenever you're assigned something, and especially if there's a deadline and you're like, shoot, like, what exactly do they want? Or sometimes attorneys are not clear with their instructions, and that's why I say, like, communication is number one <laughs> because sometimes they'll the instructions are very vague and you're like um excuse me like <laughs> um where can i find this or what exactly do you mean by this so when you are assigned something you're most likely going to have a deadline and they're gonna want it asap and you're just like stressed out you have anxiety of doing something like wrong at least that's a at least that's my experience. I don't know about you all, but this field is very anxiety evoking. Um, anyone who tells you otherwise is lying. I don't care. Like the legal field is very stressful, but it's also very rewarding in the sense that you get to deal with cases that, I don't know, that are very interesting and that help other people. Um, or if you're not helping people, then you know, like you might be in cases with big corporations and you're like, oh my gosh, this is the tea, you know, like you start like, you know, like it's very interesting regardless, but yeah. So I'm trying to think if I'm forgetting something else. I'm going to try to create more content about what it's like being a legal assistant at a big law firm. I think my next video, I will be touching upon what my hours look like, if I work overtime, what does my study schedule look like as a full-time legal assistant at a big law firm? And what the culture is like and so forth. So if you want to see more of this, please like and subscribe. I know I've been lagging with the content, but I've just been so busy and I have another thing. Well, if, it, if we're... Blah, 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 blah. I gotta learn how to articulate my words. But yeah, hopefully I can make a announcement and kind of make a video on that too but 
we'll see what happens with that anyway thank you for watching guys i appreciate you guys so much bye